Welcome to Driver's Therapy. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing the GT4's battery, but the main focus on this video is showing you how to register and program your battery to your new car. Now, this is a step that a lot of Porsches have to do now. This is a 2016 GT4, and you just can't swap the batteries out. Uh, if you do so, uh, essentially the car's memory for a lot of the features and settings will go blank. But one of the biggest things is that the car has a smart charging profile program in it. And what that means is that as the battery ages, it adjusts the charging system and it adjusts the parameters to actually accommodate uh, the battery's age. So if you just swap out the battery, essentially what happens is that it doesn't know the age of the battery and the charging profile that it has for the battery will be incorrect. So we're gonna show you uh, us swapping the battery, but as far as the instructions to change out the battery, I'm gonna put the link in the description because there's already a really good video for that. But once we put the uh, battery in there, we're gonna show you how we're gonna register the battery. Now this wouldn't be possible without Flat Six Motorsports. John is an awesome guy. He really went out of his way to help me out with the battery situation. So we got a couple of really neat devices uh, that he actually sells at his shop uh, to be able to register the battery. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So we have our battery installed, but real quickly, an important tip for you guys when you're replacing your battery is you actually have to step inside this. But I'm a heavy guy, so I didn't want to put too much weight on it. So what I do is I just step in with one foot. I took off my shoes. I'm balancing with my right foot so I don't put too much pressure on here. And then I reach over and I put the battery in. It's something that some of the videos don't talk about, but it's pretty heavy. You could do it from here, but from this side, but it's just easier that way. All right, let's go ahead and register and program this battery. Okay, so let's go ahead and register this battery to the car. So I am using a iCarSoft CR Max unit here. So let's go ahead and start off. We're gonna to go to service and we're gonna to go to battery. And under battery, we're gonna look for Porsche under the, uh, the list of the make. Let's go ahead and look for it. We have Porsche. And this time we're gonna hit VIN identify. So we put our VIN in and now we're gonna be turning on the ignition as it's requesting. And let's go ahead and okay. All right, at this point we're gonna be hitting battery change. The ignition is on. And now we need to input the battery capacity. So I, we took a picture of our battery and it looks like our battery capacity is 12 volts, 61 AH. So let's go ahead and put 61. Enter. And at this point in time, we have wet AGM 6V coil cell, 12 volt coil cell, ultra cap gel and lithium ion. We know that it's not AGM or anything like that. So we're gonna go with wet and we're gonna input the manufacturer code. Here is a picture of the manual that's talking about the serial number and the part number. And essentially we have a picture of our battery and it corresponds with the manual. It has the serial number and part number and we're gonna go ahead and register that to the car. So the manufacturer code on ours is next to this little QR code looking thing. Let's go ahead and put that in there. It's kind of a long number, 2058. GW, enter. All right, it took it. 
Now we need input battery part number. All right, input battery part number is going to be 000. zero, zero. I'm going to do the space again, 915, space again, 105. That's it for that one. Enter. Okay, so if battery capacity is 61, battery technology wet, scanner code, battery part number. So let's go ahead and press OK and see what happens. It says application complete. Turn ignition switch off. We turn it off. We're going to remove the ignition. Press OK. And I believe we should be done. So we registered the battery and we went for a drive. And I love driving this car, it's, it's amazing. But anyways, went for a drive, we stopped, we stopped the car, turned it off, waited a bit, got something from the store, came back, turned it on, and it started off strong. So we're back home, and guys, I think our battery replacement and registering or reprogramming is good to go. Really big shout out to Flat Six Motorsports for helping me out, and, uh, and this iCar Soft, this really works. Another thing too, is when I was reading about this battery exchange stuff, I found out that you might have to recalibrate steering angles and stuff like that. Some of it's in the manual and everything that you might have to do that, but I didn't have to do that. But the cool thing is, is that this also does that. There was a setting for steering angle calibration and other calibrations. So this is actually pretty cool. This is a nifty tool. Anyways, guys, Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. We always welcome you to like uh, the video and if you found it valuable, join us for the journey. Hit that subscribe button and you guys take care and we will see you soon.